been cold today, but very, very bright. The sky is super clear. Still a ton of snow on the ground, but we're starting to move forward on our season extension projects. Cleared the snow off of the cattle panel high tunnel in our backyard. Started to do a little bit of spring cleanup. Fix up some of the vole damaged material. Scrape the central walkway and get that soil onto the bed so we've got more soil to work with. Start opening up the compost bin on the far end. This got pretty cold and seized up uh, during the winter, but we're going to renovate that and get that alive again. If there's interest, I can do a long form tour of this high tunnel and the other three that we have. Let me know in the comments if you want a kind of meandering walk where we go through and talk about what we're going to do with these this season. I went ahead and cleared the snow all around the frame for our 14 by 50 foot high tunnel over in our neighbor's yard, getting that ready. By no means can we put the skin on it yet, but if the snow is taken away from the outside, then we can jump on it when we get a 50 degree day at some point and get the skin on there. I'm excited to share notes on how that evolves. The high tunnel I'm most interested in moving forward in the short run is this high tunnel closest to the road. I think it's got a good potential layout to do an experiment I've been futzing around with in my mind for a little while um, and do it at a smaller scale in this high tunnel to see as a proof of concept can we do a compost heating system that uses the walkway to radiate heat. Let me explain. So this tunnel at the moment looks a whole lot like the one in the backyard. A fair bit of nice greens that have overwintered so far. I think they'll perk up and start growing like crazy with this February sun soon enough. Um, there's some arugula and some lettuces and mustard, so we're going to work around those for now. But what I'd like to trial, I mentioned uh, the 14 by 50 foot high tunnel in our neighbor's yard. I really would be interested to see, is there a way that we can design a com an active composting system that happens in the walkway that can provide radiant warmth to the beds next to it and make a really easy system for loading. I could bring a wheelbarrow around here filled with bedding from the chicken coop or other really hot active composts and if I could just walk down this main walkway, dump a load and keep backing up and basically fill it uh, enough so that I have just enough room for my head. Right now there's about six feet nine inches between where I've dug to and the ceiling. So that gives me nine inches of play that can happen down here with a bed of compost. I'm gonna keep scraping here and see how far down I can go. The nice thing about shaving the walkway is that it's letting me access some soil that has absorbed all the excess nutrient that has flowed out of these beds when we've overwatered. So it's a way to bring the nutrients that got into the walkway, put it back into the bed. My thought is to dig a channel that's a little bit deeper on the north side and into that, once I get to the final depth that I want to go with this, uh, lay in a perforated four inch drainage pipe so that excess water has a place to go and that it can maybe even bring air in to keep the compost pile active. Each scoop I make down in the middle here just brings more mineral and organic matter rich soil onto the top of the beds. You can see there's a fair bit of worm activity. I feel bad messing them up, but I'm going to get them up into the beds where they can continue to have a nice life. The beds will get better drainage. They're getting topped with a good mix. There might be some weed seeds that come up, but we can address that without much fuss. And if I can go down, I don't know, another four inches in here, that would be a pretty significant depth, basically right up to the top of these wooden sidebars could be filled entirely with hot compost. To get a little bit more thermal insurance, my plan is to repeat with some modification what I did uh, the year last year or the year before. I'll link to the video here where I talked about a low tunnel in a high tunnel, and you can see the remnants of that experiment. These staves had paracord drawn taut along the top of them, uh, on top of which six mil greenhouse poly was laid. It was a very simple system for making a little mini low tunnel in here. 
What I'd like to do is explore what it looks like to get the poly attached to the metal members here, come down over a paracord, and then come down to the walkway. If they come out far enough, they might be able to absorb the heat coming off of the compost and draw it into the small area right around these young plants. I think what I'm going to focus on for today is to finalize digging out the walkway, shaving the walkway, and bringing that soil onto the beds to the full depth I want to go. I don't think it's going to go much deeper than this. I don't think I'll have time today to bring the compost in, but that can happen in the next few days. Probably around the same time, I'll focus on getting those poly sheets attached to the high tunnel over a paracord guide and down to the ground with the idea that maybe they can be laid out far enough to scoop that heat up. Share some notes with me. Let me know what you're thinking question-wise. And then also if you're hearing my idea around a nice big thick active hot compost pile right through the middle with thermal connection to the beds that need the warmth. How does that sound to you? What sort of pitfalls am I missing here? We've been pretty lucky to have two days in a row now where there's actual sun and this is the time of year where even though the air outside is quite cold and there's you know four to five foot piles of snow all around uh, you can feel the incremental increase in sun energy it's just a matter of time now. I know it's going to be brutally cold for the next week or so for us, probably for a lot of you out there. Um, but these are the sorts of days. If you live somewhere where you get six hours of sunlight and then it might be cloudy for a month straight, just try to be in that sun the whole time. I'm going to get back to shaving this, loading these beds with the soil while the very last little bit of sun shoots through this tunnel. I'll probably close the door just to hold the last little bit of heat in as well. Anytime I can get that energy from the sun, I, my gosh, I want to scoop it up. But <laughs> on the flip side, we get to June and it's 80 degrees and I want to be under the shade of an apple tree. Oh well. Let me know what you think about this. Thanks for watching.